Hi, re-imaging the Steam Deck to factory settings. To clarify, this tutorial is about completely erasing everything off the Steam Deck, including the OS, and then rebuilding it from scratch. If all you want to do is just delete your personal information and games off of it to sell it on or something, you press the Steam button, select settings, go to system, and then scroll all the way down. And you have the resets to factory state today. And then you just select factory reset and that's it. No need to follow this lengthy tutorial otherwise. Back to the video. You will need four things. Your Steam Deck, USB stick, that's at least 16 gigabytes, a means to connect that USB stick to the Steam Deck because USB sticks are usually USB type A, while the Steam Deck only takes USB type C. I have this handy adapter that goes from USB A to USB C. I will link it on Amazon and a separate computer. I am going to demonstrate today using a Windows computer. You can see on the Steam Deck website, I'll put instructions on how to do it on Mac and Linux, but I will be focusing on Windows as this is what the majority of people have. Without further ado, let's get started. Step one is you need to go on the Valve website. It also has instructions in text on here, so you don't really need this video if you can follow these along. However, in this video, I'm gonna go in detail on how to do everything to make it easy to follow. Once you're on the website, scroll down and you will need to download two things. First, you'll need to download the recovery image. Click here. Sure. And that started downloading and it's gonna take some time because it's a pretty big image. And the second thing you need to download is this Rufus utility for Windows. It takes you to the Rufus website. Let me zoom in so you can see. And then you just click download here and it will automatically download. You don't need to install this, it's very quick. You just need to click it and you're good to go. Now we just have to wait for the image to finish downloading. I would recommend you go back to the Valve webpage in order to have it open, because you never know when you need to check on a step. Like I said, for the Linux and Mac OS users, you need to do the steps here with the Belena Etcher. I unfortunately don't have a Mac or a Linux machine right now, so I can't advise you on that. Good luck, the image has finished downloading, but it was gonna take a while for it to finish verifying because right now Chrome is checking that file to make sure there's no viruses or anything malicious in, happening in there. So just be patient. As you can see, the virus scan has finished, so now we can continue with our steps, finally. So, once you've downloaded Rufus, you just click to open it and click yes to approve the admin rights for it on Windows. If you can't remember where it is or if it doesn't show up here anymore, all you have to do is go to your downloads folder and you'll see it right here. Now, you, if this is empty, it means we haven't connected our USB stick. So all we have to do is take our sticky stick and just plump it in our computer. Immediately finds it. With that in there, we just click select. Select the image that we've downloaded. Again, it's gonna be in your downloads folder. Fairly straightforward. Open. And then just click start. And when you have this message up telling you that it's gonna erase your USB stick, and it will, you will lose your data. Make sure you backed it up. Click OK. And now we wait again. A long time. A very long time. Patience is very important in this process. Does yours freeze up when it gets to 94.2%? Let me know in the comments, because I'm really curious why it just freezes there. It's very random. 37 minutes later, it's done creating the USB stick. For now, we just... Boink. Before we connect the USB stick, we need to completely shut down the Steam Deck. So let's just press the Steam button, then click power shut down and wait. We insert the USB stick into the USB A to USB C adapter. And we plug the new assembly into the Steam Deck. The next step is to boot up into the boot manager mode. To do so, you need to hold down the volume down button and then tap the power button until the device makes a chime. When it makes the chime, release the volume down button. At this point, if you still have an SD card inserted into the Steam Deck, it's probably a good idea to remove it so you don't accidentally overwrite it. Select the USB stick from the boot menu using the D-pad and press A to confirm your selection. 
The device will now boot off of the USB stick, but this does take a while. In my case, it took about two minutes, so be patient. Once in the OS, tap the re-image Steam Deck option. And when prompted, press proceed. At this step, I experienced a weird issue where the Steam Deck froze during the installation and just wouldn't continue. It didn't freeze. I really wish it didn't freeze. It restarted by itself back into installation mode, but I had to go through the process of pressing the re-image and pressing proceed again. And on the second try, it was successful. No idea what happened, but expect that it might happen to you as well. When prompted, press proceed again, and now Steam Deck will restart and no longer boot off of the USB stick, but boot off of the freshly installed image of SteamOS. And now the Steam Deck has been reset to factory settings. It will prompt you to select your language, select your time zone, put in your Wi-Fi details so it can connect to the internet, and it will start automatically installing all the updates that it needs. Another hiccup I ran into, at some point it went into this starting Steam Deck update download loop and it would just never exit it. And in order to get out of it, I had to press Y to go into the help menu and then B to go back. And for some reason that triggered the, up the updates to start installing. Don't know why, but mysterious are the ways. And voila! You're now ready to log in and start using your Steam Deck like new. And that's how you re-image your Steam Deck. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.